Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Lamia and this is the lamb style. So today we are going to talk about what kind of denim or a kind of like jeans that work for a petite girl. Also, let's consider that I am a curvy girl. So we will talk about that today in detail, but I will also be mentioning some stuff that also applies to other body shapes. And uh, don't forget, if you have any questions about your type of body and what goes with uh, what kind of jeans and stuff like that just pop them in the comments below and I will be replying to you also before I start showing you the pair of jeans I have here as an example I want to thank you all I honestly appreciate you all very very much I know that most of you keep coming back here and supporting me I can see that on the stats and I'm really appreciative for you and I love you all and also keep supporting me because that's what motivates me to continue making these videos and also I enjoy making videos for YouTube so much more than any other social media platform so I'm I'm really grateful I'm very thankful for you and for your support so with no more further ado we go straight to showing you the styles and what works and what doesn't work also please ignore the mess in the background like I have a treadmill sitting here I have lots of stuff going on in the kitchen so I'm just like being casual here making a casual video for, for you guys just like I would do with a friend or something like that so I want to start by saying that for you to if you are shopping for your pair of jeans or like the first time going and trying to figure out the pair of jeans that work for you at any brand because brands kind of work differently and I noticed that by experience so if it is your first time shopping at a brand you need to consider going for three sizes um, you can go for like your size and then a size bigger and a size smaller because you don't know how the fit is going to be you don't know how stretchy it's going to be or not and also most of the jeans today are stretchy it's not like the vintage one the vintage one like Levi's vintage ones they have no stretch zero stretch so but today we need that stretch for practicality for lots of things so keep in mind there's always elastane working in our favor so yeah go for three sizes and try them and then once you figure out what size works for you with this brand then you keep just going for the same size the other consideration that i have usually going shopping for a pair of jeans is um like i would rather go shop in store because it's easier for me to just try everything that i can try um and just like make my decision there and it's quick and easy and it's very uh, definite decision um, while shopping online you will be like you will tend to buy more than what you need and there will be lots of returns so just just telling you like it's easy to do it in store also I just want to give a quick advice here about all of the body shapes so for like slim and skinny jeans goes really well with hourglass apple shape and uh, pear shape so um, those are the shapes that really work with the slim, uh, skinny slim kind of style. Also the barrel leg style of jeans goes really well with the pear body shape and the hourglass body shape. The boot cut goes with also with most of the body shapes like the hourglass, the pear with the rectangle body shape and also with the pear body shape. The flare style also goes really well with the pear hourglass and apple and rectangle body shape. And the straight uh, style of jeans goes actually with all of the body shapes and that is also something that can elongate the body and helps you have, like look like you have longer legs. Okay, so I am starting with the uh, skinny slim jeans and I'm going for uh, mid-rise kind of skinny jeans let me explain to you why mid-rise mid-rise because most of the petite women have a very short torso when you get a high rise style of jeans it just ends up here and that's not what it's supposed to do so the mid-rise kind of sits in the middle of your waist and that's what we need here because we don't want it to look, make you look even shorter and also in case you don't have a short torso and that is the case of some women 
Um, High-rise uh, jeans are also really great. They give you the illusion of a longer legs. Uh, I mean, in this situation, not for everyone. But um, what else? Mid-rise, high-rise, they always give you the illusion of having very long legs and that is a good option as you can see that's what i'm wearing here so the close fitting and hugging shape of the uh, jeans kind of give you the slim legs and if you want to highlight slim legs that you have this is a good option also a good option for like wearing boots on top of it and things like that i know that most people don't like skinny jeans but i'm still like love them i'm a bit of a millennial i love some old school stuff so skinny jeans i think it's good to have them in your wardrobe when you need to put them in your boots or you just you know casually wear them with some nice uh, knee-high boots so kind of knee-high boots or even like uh ankle boots they look they look cute they look great Okay, this is an option that, that is good to avoid. By no means, I need to repeat that again. The, what I'm saying in this video, it's not a rule. It's just what it's preferred and what looks good in the eye. And if you want to go for these options that don't work, just go for them. I'm not here to judge anyone. I'm just here to give advice. If you like to go for my advice, that's it. So anyway, so I'm wearing here um, flared cropped jeans and uh, it has a mid-rise and also just want to show you how these jeans make you look shorter because it's cropped first and it's flared and that is the worst option to go for when you are petite you want something that will make you look taller have longer legs so this made me look very um very short because it's cropped at the ankle and it just didn't elongate your legs and that's not what we want to go for on the other hand, I have to mention that flared jeans are quite a good option if you are a bit curvy to create the balance, uh, like for hourglass, for pear shape, like I said. Um, so usually when you go for the flare, because you have a bit of hips, I'm breaking this, <laughs> because you have a bit of hips and I have, like you see here, I have, I have hips, if you go for longer flares, those flares will elongate your legs and at the same time create balance at the bottom so that the top is about the same size as the bottom and then you feel a bit like a bit of an illusion of balance when someone looks at you. Looks at you. Um, that's what we, what's why flared jeans are kind of like my favorite kind of jeans. They go with most body shape to be honest, um, but not cropped like this. So this is a straight uh, leg fit and the thing with this is that it elongates your legs like this is the purpose of wearing straight legs so i'm sure i'm sorry i'm not wearing any shoes with it but you can imagine how it would look with high heels so what i realized also with straight legs is that you can wear it casually with sneakers and still makes you look taller and you can wear it with high heels and it gives you even more elongated legs and looks very chic and um, I feel like the fit um, works perfectly for me now when I started to gain in weight usually I used to wear lots of straight uh, sorry a lot of slim jeans and uh, slim fit um, but now I like the straight look because it just it, it, it just gives you that like it just gives you that look of harmony when you're wearing your clothes so this is an example of the boot cut fit jeans and i like it because if you don't like straight cut or straight fit straight leg fit uh, because you think that it's too wide in the bottom and you don't like the slim fit because it's too narrow you don't like the flare because it's too much of a difference between the top of the bottom the boot cut comes a bit narrower in the bottom which gives you a bit of a balance and it doesn't look like it's too wide or you like swimming in your jeans so yeah i love the boot cut because it's so nice to wear in the winter i love that and i love it also with sneakers like i said very casual look um so yeah the boot cut is a very good option for you if you are looking for something 
that is not too wide in the bottom creates really good balance this is also mid-rise and i love the mid-rise the mid-rise is a good option for me because i don't want it to be to be taking over my outfit you know the whole pair of jeans being the one thing that looks the tallest on me you know what i mean so yeah so this is a nice pair that i really really love so yeah so these were some of the options that are a bit fitting with the trend at the moment something that you can wear in 2025 and not look outdated and look good when you are a slim oh uh, sorry when you are a petite girl a bit curvy also like me and it also these options go also for a very slim petite girl because you know what the thing with the petite girls they always want to look taller and want the legs to a bit look longer and you'll want to create these balance uh the balance between the top of the bottom when wearing a pair of jeans so these options go with petite girls just to give you a reference i am uh five foot three and my size is 14 i wear 14 these all these jeans i got them from zara to show you exactly uh what i'm talking about because i want to give you options from the high street something affordable something that you know you will not regret trying if you're trying something for the first time also there are so many other brands that are really good with jeans but once you figure out the one that works for you then you start investing in more expensive pairs you know i do believe that jeans need to be something that you invest on because they're not if you go for classic cuts like the straight fit straight leg fit um those are classic cuts that don't get out of style also the boot cut that it's also very classic so uh, it's worth investing in i remember having these pair of levi's that i bought when i was 19 and i was wearing them until i was 29 so it's kind of like and also levi's age really really nicely um if you agree with me leave that in the comments because i think that the best pair of jeans that can age and you know look vintagey and look good is the other levi's anyway i hope you enjoyed this very short video unfortunately unfortunately i am petite i can just talk about these but i can give you advice verbally but i cannot show you uh um virtually or i mean in the video uh how it looks on taller people or on slimmer people that's like even possible i i'm i'm that's just me there's just me making these videos and i'm uh, three foot uh, five foot three so i'm so sorry this is the only thing i could show but uh you know don't hesitate to contact me if you have any questions and you're if you're struggling finding whatever um you are looking for when it comes to the jeans or you know just contact me i'll be happy to uh help you and also i hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching it thank you for supporting me thank you for everything uh that you do for me uh here in youtube and i i kind of like love reading your comments i love uh, interacting with you and replying to you i'll see you in my next video i love you all bye